Protecting biodiversity, preserving the variety of living organisms such as animals and plants, and the ecosystems of which they are part, is a key priority for the European Union. The Union's biodiversity strategy sets the target to halt the loss of biodiversity in the EU by 2020. It tries to achieve this by a mix of legislation and funding. Rather than setting up a new fund, the EU decided to support biodiversity from its existing funding schemes. One of these is the European Regional Development Fund, the ERDF, the main objective of which is to reduce economic, social and territorial disparities in the Union. We examined whether the European Regional Development Fund, the ERDF, had been used effectively directly to promote biodiversity. We found that of the 200 billion euros distributed to member states over the seven year period 2007 to 2013, some 2.8 billion euros, almost one and a half percent of the funds available, was allocated to projects promoting biodiversity. Member states design their own funding objectives. We found that many funds were being used to develop management and implementation plans. We also found that other sources of funding were being used. So not all member states chose to use ERDF money directly to promote biodiversity. Indeed, eight member states had not done so at all by the end of 2012. When member states did use the ERDF for promoting biodiversity, the rate of spending did not keep up with that of other ERDF projects. And member states did not generally assess the impact on biodiversity of their projects. Our auditors went to five member states which accounted for more than two-thirds of all direct expenditure on biodiversity from the ERDF. The Czech Republic, Spain, France, Poland and Romania. In Spain, the ERDF supported three large projects to restore riverbanks. However, in one other case, money reserved for the promotion of biodiversity was used in large part to restore a castle, where the biodiversity component was minimal. In Poland, the National Programme for the Protection of the Kapikali was supported, but the programme faced delays in being accepted by the responsible government body and, at the time of the audit, was not yet approved. In Romania, ten bison were required for the Vunatori Niemc National Park. The auditors found that the sustainability of the project was uncertain, since management plans did not contain any information on the future financing and the project had not yet been approved by the Ministry of the Environment. We as EU auditors recommend that if more tangible results are to be achieved, the plans that have been funded with ERDF money will need putting into action. The European Commission should make sure that Member States evaluate the changes in habitats and species following the completion of funded activities. And the Commission should put together an accurate record of EU spending both direct and indirect, on biodiversity. The European Commission has agreed to take action on nearly all of our recommendations. So we hope to see the European Regional Development Fund, as one tool, make a more important contribution to fulfilling our Union's biodiversity goals between now and 2020. If such improvements are made, it will demonstrate that a focus on economic growth and the environment agenda work together.